As the calendar year comes to an end, it's time once again for FIFA's Premier Club football competition, the FIFA Club World Cup. As with years past, the tournament features teams with varying abilities and competitive desires. Still at the beating heart of FIFA is a responsibility and an onus on the organisation to help the game grow in different parts of the world. I think it's quite a democratic process to put these teams who are apparently uneven in terms of ability, in terms of finance and supporter base, but, but to get them all together in one tournament and put them on an even keel, uh, I do think that that's something to be lauded by FIFA. It's not something that they have to do, but it's something that they, that they do. Corinthians appear in the FIFA Club World Cup as Libertadores champions and as a team that have grown in quality since Ronaldo's departure in 2009. The Brazilian club now have a strong identity. Nowadays, I think Corinthians plays more defensive style. Uh, Chico is a defensive and he's a captain as well. And he is like uh, Davi Luiz, uh, both are Brazilians and both scores a lot of goals. Yeah, Paulinho is a, is a new player and actually he's playing a Brazilian team. He plays the defensive midfielder. He has a, a really good pass, he runs a lot and I think he can be a, a really good promise for Brazilian team and maybe he can surprise on this championship. Al Ali come into the tournament having not played a league match this season because of the Port Said disaster back in February. This means that their opponents will be scouting them on only the few recent competitive matches they have played. Uh, we have seen them in the um, African Champions League, uh, which yeah, I mean, a really extraordinary achievement from them to beat Esperance in the final. Uh, of course, a lot of this squad played in that very successful Egypt side that won three successive Cups of Nations, 2006, 2008, 2010. Um, Gedo, the centre forward, was a, a hugely important in 2010, coming off the bench uh, you know, as a goal scorer. And I guess the other player to really look out for is Mohamed Abitrika, the, the great playmaker who's been a constant through Egyptian football in the last decade. Coming to the end of his career now, I think probably considering the time this might be his last season. Current CONCACAF Champions League holders Monterrey of Mexico feature a veteran lineup with players who will welcome the spotlight of the world stage. They are a very, very talented team, a very experienced team. Uh, they have Humberto Suazo as, as their he uh, the main star. He's a Chilean striker, uh, very good, very, very good in the box, very good finishing abilities. One thing always to look out for in this competition is to how seriously the South American representatives take this one. In South America it's regarded as a big prize, whereas in Europe, certainly in England, it has been regarded in the last few years as somewhat maybe of a distraction for the winning European team. So Corinthians, if they're on their game, uh, they could cause a few surprises uh, to Chelsea, but definitely the other teams will see Chelsea as, as, as the glamour team, as the team to beat. As with the build-up to previous FIFA Club World Cups, great interest lies in what to expect from the various teams. Be because of all the problems in Egypt, they are a bit of an unknown quantity. I think what they do have is an absolute desire to do something for Egypt in a, in a very difficult time, particularly given how involved al Ahly's fans have been in all the demonstrations on Tahir Square. Um, I, I think that you know, they, they really are playing with a, with a force of this is not just about football, it's about something more. I, I won't surprise if Corinthians beat Chelsea because Corinthians is a really strong team at the moment. I think it's the best team in Brazil at the moment, in South America, uh, because they won a Libertadores. Talent-wise, Monterrey should be able to beat the Korean champions and face Chelsea and push Chelsea to the limit. Obviously, I think Chelsea is a, is a better team, but Monterrey are not, are not bad at all. The European champions Chelsea go into the Club World Cup with Rafa Benitez as manager, as opposed to Roberto Di Matteo, who led them to the title in May. Di Matteo's firing and the hire of Benitez has brought added attention to the English side. Perhaps the trip to Japan could be the getaway they need. Chelsea need a break from the Premier League at the moment. Their form has been poor, they haven't been scoring many goals. Rafa Benitez has gone in there under pressure and, and his team haven't really done the business for him on the pitch as yet. But yeah, I do think that they'll enjoy the break. Um, it'll, it'll take them out of the firestorm that's been uh, brewing around them for the last year or so. You know, when you go all the way back to uh, the, the trouble that engulfed them around the QPR game last year, all the way through this season, people have been really sniping for them. And uh, yeah, I think they'll relish the opportunity to step out of the limelight for a few days.